Welcome to Joy's Journals. I'm so excited to be able to share this project with you today. We're going to be making a sticker book that you can make for yourself to put into your traveler's notebooks. So these are um, very, very simple to make. And as you can see here, I have a couple different sizes. These are my own designs, but you can make it however you want. If you just want your covers to be plain or if you want to print something, um, there's, it's very, very simple to do. And then using wax paper on the inside, and you can put your own stickers in there. And that's my summer style. This is the spring style. They aren't completely full yet. I just have a few different things put in. Well, this one has a little bit more than the others, but then this is one of my favorites. I love the vintage Christmas, and I like to also put the washi tapes in there as well as the stickers. So um, this is a very simple thing. So first let's go through the tools that you're going to need to accomplish this. So first of all, you're going to need some kind of cardstock or something thick to be your cover. You will also need some wax paper. <clears throat> and then now personally, I like to uh, cut the corners and to make them rounded. So I use a corner rounder. I also like to edge them with the brown that you can see here. So I actually have something here that I keep cover uh, filled with the brown ink, the dark ink that I like. So I have that. And then you will need some waxed thread. If you don't have wax thread, just regular thread is fine. I used to make inserts before I started selling them with just regular thread. You can do, I would probably do a couple like double or triple thread or you can also use embroidery floss that works as well some kind of a big needle that the this part of the needle the point it, the thickness doesn't matter so much as the eye of the needle trying to get your thread through it is really hard if it's not thick enough i do use a bone folder just to get my covers <laughs> nice and folded well i also use an awl to punch the holes and because of that I have a push pad that I use for that as well. Now, these are all things that I have and use. Does not mean you have to have this, them all to make this. So if you don't have all the tools and supplies that I have, don't worry, it's okay. Um, for the size, so you are going to first be cutting your cover and your inserts. And please excuse my setup. I will have that fixed sooner, being that this is one of my first videos. I don't have everything set up correctly yet. <laughs> so for the standard size TN, when it's closed, it's about eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. So when your papers are cut, now I'm showing you the passport size, but you will need to, of course, open it and cut them the full width like this. So the standard sized open papers, so the cover and the wax papers need to be cut to eight and a quarter by eight and a half. If you're doing a passport size, like the smaller one that I have, closed it's four and seven eighths by three and a half or five by three and a half, somewhere around there. And open four and seven eighths or five by seven. So those are the sizes that you need to cut your pages and your insert cover. So this one I already have cut trimmed and edged but i do have another one here that i'm going to show you so this is printed of course and cut how i want it so the first thing i'm going to do is trim the corners with my corner rounder so if you have a corner rounder you can do that otherwise if you don't you can leave them straight or you can just hand trim them it's totally up to you if you like the rounded and you don't have one of these you can just cut them. What I would probably do to make sure they're all the same is cut one and then use that to copy the other sides so they're all the same. Then I do like to edge them. I just go kind of for the antique grunge vintage look. That's kind of the style that I like. And as you can see, I've chosen to use brown cover stock for my covers. So that is what I use for all of my insert covers. So once you have that done, you can set that aside. And then you're gonna take, I use five pieces of wax paper just cause I don't want my sticker book to be too awfully thick. So of course, cut your pages to the sizes that I mentioned earlier, and then just simply fold them in half to make your pages. So I'll go ahead and do that real quickly. 
And again, if you don't have all the specific tools that I'm gonna show you, it's okay. Don't worry about that. Just, um, you can just cut it with a ruler and a scissors. If you don't have a paper cutter on the corners, the edges, you can just cut them with the scissors. Um, the bone folder, you can just use a ruler, whatever you wanna do to really crease your cover better. And of course, if your paper is not as thick as the paper that I use, then you won't need to crease it as much anyway. Now, you just place all your pages inside each other. This is called a signature. So when you're making a journal, when you're making a book, you're putting together your signatures. These are the different parts inside your book. And then just make sure they're all nice and even. Then we're gonna put them inside our cover. Now the wax paper is slippery and do not cover, don't cut your edges on these yet. The wax paper is very slippery, so that makes it a little bit harder than just the regular signatures that I usually put together. So just be aware of that. You wanna be very careful. You could use um, paper clips or something like that to hold it together, but you're gonna just make sure that the creases of your wax paper are way down into the crease of the cover. So make sure they're all down in there as best as you can. Of course, if it's not perfect, that's okay. You can always trim the edge around. Then you're gonna hold it like this because you want to be able to hold those edges together and make sure it's pushed way down into where, if you wanna call this the spine is. So you get it way down in there and then you're going to punch a hole with the awl or just with a needle or something big like that, um, a bigger needle, I mean, um, and you're gonna do it right in the center. So right here, if you can see that, it's gonna be in the center of the book. I don't measure when I do these just because it just, it just needs to be close. It doesn't have to be exact, but if you're very worried about it being perfect, you can do that. So you push that down in there through the papers of wax papers and also the cover paper. Then you're going to punch another hole at the top and the bottom about this is probably about three eighths inch from the edge. The reason I hold it up like this is because that keeps the papers down in the crevice better. So you punch another hole about three eighths inch or so from the edge. Since it's a little book, you can also do half inch if it's one of the bigger, you know, regular standard sizes or anything like that. Hopefully you can see this here. So you just punch the hole down in there. Now you should have three holes <clears throat> all the way through. So you have here in the center and at the bottom. And those should go through your wax paper and also through your cover stock. All right, so now what you're gonna do is thread your needle. And to measure it, I usually, probably the easiest way to measure how much thread you're gonna need is about three times the length of the book should work for you. If you're a little concerned about that, you might wanna do a little extra till you get down what works for you. All right, so thread your needle and get that all ready. See if I can do this quickly on camera. The wax thread sometimes is easy and sometimes is not so easy. If it splits open, it makes it a little harder. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is start in the center so I'm gonna to try to do this so you can see this clearly, hopefully. All right, so we're gonna go down from the inside and my papers are all sliding around a little bit. So just reorganize those best you can. And you're gonna go all the way through. So from the inside to the outside. And we're going to leave a couple inches that you wanna hold on to with your thumb because you wanna keep that there, you don't want it to slide out. Now you're gonna go up through one of the other holes, doesn't matter which one, top or bottom, I usually go up through the top, just cause that's the way I hold my book, and pull that through, make sure you get it pulled all the way through. Hopefully I'm keeping everything on camera for you. Again, like I said, my setup will be better soon. <laughs> now you're gonna go hold this piece over to the side and you're going to go down again through that same hole, but try not to split open the thread. And it looks like I split it just a little bit. It's not a big deal, especially with the wax thread, but I try not to as much as possible. All right, I'm kind of pulling on my papers here. 
still holding that piece of thread. Now you're gonna come up in the bottom one. So we're gonna come up through here. And if you have a hard time getting through the wax papers from the outside, if they aren't lining up completely, just turn your page, your book around so you can see more where you're going on the inside and come up through there. Make sure it's nice and tight in the back again. Now you should have this thread going this way and you'll have your first stitch going this way. And now this one, you're going to come back up and how you do in, you're not going to go through the hole. You're gonna hold this up here and you're gonna go under the first stitch with this one. So now that's wrapping this last one around the first one. So you're gonna pull these both tight. So you wanna check the back, make sure they're nice and tight, pull them both tight and they should be wrapping around this first stitch and then you tie it in a knot. So you're gonna tie it once, pull it really tight and again, pull it really tight make sure they're all really tight so they're not you don't want loose threads because then your pages are going to slide around then you just cut them off i usually cut them off right around i don't know half inch or something like that <clears throat> all right so now we're almost done already can you believe it that's how easy it is um i have found the wax paper does not cut in this it's just too thin and flimsy so what I've started doing with the sticker books is I just hand cut it like this and just follow the cover. And of course you gotta be careful. Hopefully the back cover is close to the same as the front cover. Otherwise you might cut off some of it. If you do end up cutting off some of it, I just cut, cut the covers again with the, with the corner rounder just to even it out. And, um, or you could, open the back cover too, depending on which is easier. The wax paper is very flimsy, so it is a little bit harder to work with. If you're making a signature like this or an insert, because you can make any inserts this way, you uh, it, it's just quite a bit easier to work with just regular paper. So um, the wax paper is just kind of flimsy and a pain. Now I have heard that there is some sticker paper and I believe in some of the Facebook groups there have been people posting that they have some of that for sale. So um, if you're looking for something thicker you could buy the sticker paper and make the signatures or make the inserts the same way as this with regular sticker paper. So that's an option as well. All right so then I just kind of eyeball it make sure the paper the wax paper looks nice and even and you know what guys there you go that's all it is to making a sticker book insert very simple very easy and um, quick so now you can just add your stickers and slide it right into your TN just like all the rest so I hope you enjoyed that and I see that this is a little off so I'm going to trim that a little better so I just trim the wax paper down to where I like it <laughs> until it looks better. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful. I would love for you to share pictures of the ones that you make so I can see how it's helping you. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you again next time.